Hi everyone, today I'm going to dissect the soundtrack that I did for the one minute commercial for Asphaltkind, a producer of roof boxes for sports cars. Before we dive in, I just want to show you the entire video clip right now. Right. Well, why don't we just start with basically the base of the entire track, which will be percussion and the Yuhi Zebra synthesizer. And this is what it sounds like. So the synthesizer gives a lot of rhythm and a lot of motion to the entire track. And here's the lower section with just the French horn doing a solo. And we're back to the crescendo, the climax of the advertisement. Now, another thing that you might not hear at a first listen are the choir, the piano, and the harp. And this is their role in this commercial. Let's just start right here. So they're just saying a lot of gibberish. It's not actually words that they're using, but it gives a bit of emotion. It gives a bit of a life. It breathes life into the whole track. One other thing, of course, that plays a big role, but you wouldn't know, are the woodwinds. Let's go with the first take. So they're just doubling the melody that we hear in the string section. And then comes the harmony. I just want to pay special attention to the harmony played by the uh, by the flutes, the oboe, and the bassoons. Listen to that bit right here. Let's just take them solo. Here we go. It just adds a lot of richness, even if you don't hear it immediately. If I were to leave it out, it would take out a lot of character out of the track. Now, one thing, of course, no one could miss are the blaring French horn trombone section. And that's what sounds like isolated. Something, of course, to uh, always keep in mind whenever you're working with samples, whenever you're creating a mock-up, is that you want the French horn, the trombone, and especially the trumpets, you want them to sit as far in the back as possible. And one way to do that is to give them a bit of a delay in the reverb and make sure that you cut off the lows and the highs because reverb normally only captures the mid frequencies. And by doing so, you place them much further in the back in the mix. Now let's just listen to that French horn solo, which sounds extremely slow and lethargic we have it isolated. Now 
But that really is how a French horn plays. A French horn does not play as agile as a violin or as quickly as a piano. It needs to jump from, from sort of from breath to breath, and it, has, it always has a small delay. And then, of course, we get to the crescendo, which just kind of overtakes the entire orchestra. And that's just a glorious sound that really finishes the climax. Now, before I dive into the string sections, I want to pay special attention to the solo strings. I use the Cinematic Studio Strings, the solo edition, to usually double with the battery of first violins, second violins, and violas. And when we hear them um, uh, isolated, this is what they do. So, it's an extremely simple movement, um, but it gives you a bit of anticipation. You're, and especially in combination with the synthesizer, you're just excited to hear what's coming next. Then, of course, we have the, and we'll get to that at, uh, in a moment, uh, we have the, you know, the pastoral strings, but they're being doubled at some point by the solos. And that's an extremely close sound. Again, they are sitting extremely close in the mix. So they have the shortest reverb time, they or the shortest um, uh, pre-delays, and you can hear all of their frequencies. They are right in your face. They are sitting even in front of the piano in the mix. And so that's why they have this extremely dry and, and sort of in your face focus sound and I, I really like that because it kind of gets lost in the mix but it adds some really interesting frequencies and then the cello is doubling the horn but in a more nostalgic way And at the final, we hear the tremolo announcing what could possibly come next. So, I hope you enjoyed a little breakdown of this um, soundtrack, section by section. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. And I'll be dissecting another soundtrack very soon. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.